Hello everyone. Welcome back to Nephi Cat. Today I thought we might like to talk about thing ways and things that cats do in their hunting and things that can show us a lot about the stock market. There's a lot we can learn from these little guys and these little girls about our own strategies and our own endeavors in our financial world. So I mentioned this already, but one of the first things to recognize, of course, is that they're great hunters. And because they are, they have a lot to teach us. One of the things that I notice is that they select their prey. They don't just go after anything. They don't just go after anybody. They're very, very specific about what they choose, how they choose, and they're very calculating about it. Yes, they are. <laughs> they also, you'll notice that they don't just go out there blazingly and hunt uh, carelessly. They select their, their target carefully and they conserve their energy just like he's doing. And then they choose when to hunt. They hunt at exactly the right time. They time themselves perfectly. If they hunted too early, they would miss their prey. If they'll, It might scare their prey away. If they hunt too late, they'll scare their prey away. And that's the same about the stock market. If you go into a stock at the wrong time, you're going to pay the price and you're going to lose your money. You've got to hit that just right. Even if you are a long-term investor, I know a lot of people won't you know, won't necessarily say it, say that, but I definitely find that to be true because you've still got to know when to enter and when to exit. For example, if you buy into a stock when it's at record highs, then there's a good chance, a very, very good chance that you're going to lose money in that. And that stock eventually is going to crash. And even if you're a long-term investor, you can still lose money. It's wiser to do something like picking a, the stock when it's at its 52-week low and then buying in. You'll have a lot better result. They're opportunistic also. They're opportunistic about which, which, you know, which prey they hunt. And we've got to do that way with stocks too. We can't just carelessly go into the market. And I know I kind of... I'm repeating myself there, but you take advantage of the, sto the stocks that are at their lows and you need to also study, do fundamental analysis and technical analysis. I know I have said that prior as well, but it is really, really important so that you know what you're getting into. They ascertain their environment too. They don't just blindly go into, the, into uh, hunting. They also use their environment, you'll notice. So, for example, you'll see them sometimes crouch super, super low. Yes, you'll see them crouch almost like he's doing. And then when the moment comes, they pounce. But he's conserving energy and he's not ready to pounce. Yes. <laughs> You hear some birdies that he is checking out. Yes, indeed. He's very careful about that, though. Notice he's not going for them. That one birdie that you might be hearing, hopefully in this, is very far away. Way too far away for him to judge. And way for, too far away for him to jump at. So you'll notice that they're really careful about those things. Yes, and I hope that this little video will give you good advice for your future and <laughs> for your future and your decisions in the stock market. Yes. Please, do. if you like the content of our videos, don't forget to take your pause and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Another thing I forgot to point out is that they know when to enter and exit a situation. Uh, a kitty will leave if you have a bigger creature come around. Like he was hearing a doggy barking just there and that makes him nervous. He's not going to hang around and try to hunt birdies or anything else, or hopefully not birdies, but mice or anything else. When he's got potential danger around himself, he, we have to know when to exit and when to enter uh, the stock market. We've got to know what catalysts are going on so that we won't get blindsided by them. Yes. And this butterfly isn't as interesting. <laughs> he says, this isn't a real butterfly. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, thank you all so much for spending some time with us today. We really appreciate you. Thank you for watching our videos. Bye-bye.